my journey at abg has really transformed me from a, a shy reserved guy that i was as a student so i have transformed into a initiative taking and outgoing person hello everyone and welcome to another episode of conversations cafe online in this particular series of conversations cafe our focus has shifted from management grads to that of engineers and today i have someone who joined aditya birla group from campus and has had an illustrious career so far nishan bhatwaj currently works as a process engineer at grasim and would tell us more about what kind of roles you can expect when you work at a conglomerate like abg he will also talk about his personal growth and how he as an individual grown in an in an organization like abg uh, in this particular conversation hi nishant and thank you for joining us today. uh thank you uh, thank you paul all right so nishant uh, let's start this conversation today uh why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself where you from where did you do your uh, undergraduation and from your undergraduate degrees to now how much of a shift you can see in your uh, career Uh, I'm basically from uh, Gwalior Ampi, and I've uh, done my uh, undergraduate in chemical engineering from uh, uh, BIT Misra in Ranchi. I got uh, recruited in ABG in 2017 uh, on campus drive uh, in this in uh, engineering leadership program. Uh, well, the journey joining ABG till now has been uh, you know full of learning. I've worked in a lot of verticals in these last four years, uh, like projects, operations, process improvement, MIS. you know last four years have made me ready for the industry that i feel like you know i can take on any challenge in the industry uh, which i think is a is a big leap in itself absolutely absolutely inshan and uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you learned at your uh, engineering college from that learning to you know uh, stepping for the first time in a conglomerate like abg how was that experience like for you in a colleges you know uh, the the learning mostly happens uh, in theoretical manner you know you learn about uh, theories you the focus is on books but in a working in a real life uh, uh, working industry uh, the focus shifts completely to practical things I, as i am a process engineer what i've learned in college in theory uh, largely applies to what i what i do so uh, what i've learned in chemical engineering that i've learned in college is has certainly helped me uh, in doing my job over here but i have get gained lot of practical insights which i would never had if i had not worked in abg uh, and nishan that is why you know abg uh, has also designed a program like elp which you were part of you know right from college uh, so that you get to know about the business better get to know about the technicalities and the kind of roles that you will be taking better uh, what was the elp program like for you how did it help you grow both as professional and uh in the person personal front also you know gaining these insights and knowledge uh, being part of this program uh, well this program is uh, certainly designed to you know uh, develop leaders from the very first day you are, you are treated special and uh, you are told that you have been uh, recruited to, um, to to go the distance and the organization is willing and uh, ready to invest everything that is required for that to happen in you professionally uh, if you ask me so uh, in this program you are placed at a position which is a rank higher than uh, general fresher position so you are already ahead of the competition that is a uh, good great professional uh, growth for me uh, apart from that uh, the training program the one year training program that you receive as part of engineering leadership program uh, it involves you know moving to different locations which uh, which has helped me develop my professional network Uh, over all uh, over different parts of india and also get, help me gain a better insight into the workings of the business moreover uh, there is a mentorship program as part of uh, uh, this engineering leadership program so uh, that 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 i feel help me uh, not first of all in uh, you know making a smooth transition from a student to a to a working professional and uh, uh, and the mentor has been has been really helpful if i get stuck anywhere whether it's personal issue or professional issue the mentor is always ready to help me and guide me apart from that uh, the peer group that we have here uh, the seniors that we have here and the leaders that we have here uh, they have really uh, you know helped me transform my 
uh, personality and my perspectives about the work and the world in general. Definitely, definitely, Nishant. And from there, uh, you have uh, you know you have come a long way uh, with EBG. You have worked with Grassim for over four years now. There are different roles that you have taken up in Grassim. Tell us a bit about these transitions that you uh, made in these four years and how it actually helped you become a better professional and contribute to the overall scheme of things for the organization. After training, after one year of training, I started out in projects. Uh, projects is like, you know, uh, setting up a new plant from the ground up. Uh, so that has been an incredible learning for me, you know. Uh, and in, in, in particularly, I remember when I was uh, working in setting up a multi-effect evaporator plant, you know, uh, I was I was leading, I was driving uh, all the all the activities there. So, I mean, it was like I was running the show. That particular experience has been uh, transforming because it helped me in a lot of lot of uh, ways. First of all, in my personal growth, you know, time management because it's a demanding job. Then uh, communication skills, you know, and then problem rectifications. And after that, I uh, I moved on to operations. So over there, solving day-to-day -day, uh, operational issues, plant problems, uh, managing your subordinates. Apart from uh, operations, I am also looking after the process improvements. So there, you need to leverage your technical skills, what you've learned in undergrad, and also what you've learned over here, practical skills. I'm also handling MIS, management information systems, uh, and uh, worked on several audits and several uh, uh, different projects related to, related to MIS. Uh, so in these four years, you know, I can say that I have seen a lot of uh, verticals and uh, gained a lot of experience. Nishant, uh, tell me a bit about what uh, keeps you going at work. Uh, you know, now that you have so many responsibilities in your shoulder, what exactly do you do on a daily basis and how do you keep yourself motivated, you know, doing that uh, same work again and again? What what helps you better uh, in, in achieving that? I have uh, I've worked in, uh, on projects. Uh, so, I, have, uh, I, also, I, can, I can also fit in there. Uh, currently, I'm working in operations and process improvement. So, uh, I've, I just like to uh, communicate uh, communications with marketing team, uh, checking on their requirements, how much are the orders, and then uh, going through day-to-day -day plant operations and uh, communicating with maintenance teams regarding uh, if there are any issues within the plant and uh, then finally handing over uh, uh, the finished goods to marketing team. Also, apart from that, you know, informations uh, that plant is running, that information has to be, has to travel uh, upwards. So, I also handle communications with management. Uh, so, that is what I do. So, Nishant, is it safe to say that, you know, from a very technical role right after the engineering graduation that you have happened and then the LP program that happened within the APG, you now are sort of a people's person looking to different departments, you're responsible for a lot of, uh, you know, work that goes in from one department to the other and a communication that works in, right? Uh, how much of a manager do you think you have become in uh, all these years? managing so many people and how good uh, a parent, uh, you know, how good according to you, you have become in doing this at this moment. Yeah, definitely Paul, you know, I, I, I would say that uh, this program, this, uh, my journey at ABG has really transformed me from uh, a shy, reserved guy that I was as a student. So, I have transformed into an initiative taking and outgoing person. Uh, so, uh, that, that has been a, a great personal learning for me. And uh, as you were saying, maintaining, yeah, I've, I've moved from technical to, uh, you know, people managing growth. So, uh, ABG has really helped me do that. Uh, because I, when I was working in projects, uh, when the technical phase got over, when the construction phase got started, I really had to, you know, develop this uh, skill uh, to, you know, coordinate with people, to get the job done by people. Uh, so, uh, that has been a great learning for me. Absolutely. And Nishant, uh, what exactly do you uh, look after within the realm of ABG? Where do you see yourself in the coming years and how do you want to prosper from here? Uh, since I have you know, seen these verticals, I am willing to you know, move to a different vertical. I want to challenge myself and uh, move on to a completely different vertical like maybe finance or maybe marketing. You know, just as to, so as to develop a much broader and deeper insight into the business. So that has been my aspiration and uh, I'm, I'm in touch with the management regarding this. I've also communicated to them and if the opportunity arises, I will definitely jump to a different function. 
any final piece of advice for all the ELB aspirants who want to be part of this whole program and be in a position that Nishant is right now? Uh, definitely, yeah. So as I was saying that, don't be afraid, afraid to take initiatives. Be open. You know, be open to changes because students coming, starting their professional journey, and they're 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 not ready to change. They're not ready to change their locations. They're not ready to change their mindset, their perspectives. So be open to change. You know, because change is the only constant. Uh, don't be afraid of the change. Change happens for the good. Uh, so embrace change. Right. Take things uh, as opportunities, and having fun is what Nishant has to you know take back from his journey that he had. Uh, at ABG, if you want to be part of ABG, this is your opportunity. You can uh, be part of the conversations cafe online that we are having with ABG LPs. Nishant here is definitely going to be part of this conversation along with other, uh, you know, managers who are doing great job within the M of ABG. Thank you very much, Nishant, for joining in today and uh, you know taking us through your journey, your experience, and your learning, uh, you know, with ABG and. Uh, I wish you all the very best for all the you know things that you have planned up for your life. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Paul. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. It was a pleasure.